top five traveling tips, uh, maybe I would have to think a little bit about that. But for sure one is to bring uh, 30 meters internet cable at all times in your suitcase because a lot of times in hotels they don't have it and if they have it it's like this long so you're like stuck next to the wall. I cannot handle that especially traveling all the time so that would be my first one. My second one would be to keep the absolutely necessary things in your carry-on because uh, airline companies lose luggage all the time so when you arrive I arrive in the Bahamas and I got my suitcase two days after I was dressed as a polar bear coming to Montreal so this was really bad so that would be another tip. Um, what else could I say? Use uh, internet, online check-in, all those things. This save you a lot of time, a lot of queues. And if you get stuck in traffic and you get at the airport last minute, if you checked in already, you're fine. That would be my other tip. I would I wouldn't recommend traveling with fruits or nuts because you're not allowed to uh, change countries with those. I have had an apple sometimes in my bag that I forgot, but uh, I went through with it, so it was fine. <laughs> so my fourth tip would be to uh, when you travel a lot like me, you don't want to lose a lot of time packing and unpacking. So what I do is I take my things literally out of my dressing room, is that how you call it, and I just put it in my suitcase like that with the hangers. So when I get to the hotel, I just put it back there so it takes me one second to pack and unpack. That would be a good tip. My fifth tip would be to never forget your passport and even more than that, scan it, put it in your computer and this might help you if you get it stole or you know that happens to me a lot of times. So if you have copies of your IDs, this always accelerates the process.